Hey, what if I talk about, like, music? Hello and welcome, my name's Classical101 and this is Uniquely New Zealand, the show where I discuss anything and everything New Zealand. Today we're talking about the sounds of Kiwiana as we take a look at some truly uniquely New Zealand music. The only real restriction I'm placing on this video is the songs have to either be from New Zealand, about New Zealand, or be a big enough piece of Kiwi history to warrant an honourable mention. Other than that, anything goes. With that out of the way, let's jump into some music and try not to get content ID claimed by YouTube's bullshit algorithms. <laughs> That's it, that's all you get, the algorithms are watching. Starting off with this bona fide classic, Slice of Heaven was written and performed by Dave Dobbin and the band Herbs. It was originally created for the movie Footrot Flats. I've mentioned Footrot Flats before, and it's definitely getting its own video at some point, but for now all you need to know is this song fits the tone and mood of the movie perfectly. It's laid back, carefree, and is all about just how great New Zealand is. Simple, yet memorable, and sincere as hell. Interestingly, according to Dave Dobbin, radio stations refused to play the song at first, until a high volume of listener demands made them reconsider. Hey music critics, it's called minimalism, heard of it? While on the topic of Dave Dobbin, I should probably mention his other really big song, Loyal, but I don't like it, so fuck it. However, while we're on the topic of things I hate, and things I might love, and why, and does, our next song is Why Does Love Do This To Me? I don't know, why does love do this to me? I don't know, I don't know. Why Does Love Do This To Me is just one of those catchy ass songs that you just can't shake from your head. It owes a lot of its fame to being just a catchy sing-along song that often gets burst out at rugby games. I mean personally I wouldn't know because I don't go to rugby games, but I've heard that sometimes people sing there. Next song. Our next song is a brilliant piece of ironic hipster trash brought to us by Blam Blam Blam, and it's called There Is No Depression in New Zealand. I've mentioned before that the 70s and 80s wasn't the greatest time for New Zealand, with country morale being at an all-time low. Some creators tried to capitalise on this by making us feel good about ourselves, by pointing out stuff that was uniquely New Zealand. With a lot of the media centering around the idea that our country is great, even though at the time it kind of wasn't, Blam 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 decided to satirise this by making a song in the similar vein, Except with the twist, it's kinda trying to hypnotize you. The entire song sounds like it's kinda trying to brainwash you, with it talking about dark subject matter and dismissing it, saying that New Zealand has none of these flaws. Even though we have all of these flaws. I kinda see it as the bastard twin of John Clark's We Don't Know How Lucky We Are song. We Don't Know How Lucky We Are fills you with hope and optimism about the country. While There's No Depression in New Zealand sits you down and makes you take a hard look at our flaws. And honestly, to fully get the most out of your country, I think you need to do both from time to time. Because seriously, there is a lot of depression in New Zealand, someone should really do something about that. Alright, enough of all this old people music, time to bust out some early 2000s jams with this number. Oh 
Always On My Mind by Tiki Tane doesn't really have any cultural reference point or big mention of New Zealand like some of these other songs, it was just one of those songs that hit and hit big when it was released. My justification for including it in this list is I feel like if you play it to any 16 to 25 year old in New Zealand right now, they'll be like, oh my god, that song, I forgot that that even existed. Also, the artist, Tikitane, has worked extensively with my high school English teacher's band, Salmonella Dub. So, that's a thing. Hi, Mr. Penman. Moving on. Of course, if I'm talking about New Zealand music, I would be stupid not to bring up the biggest Kiwi hit in recent memory, Royals by Lord. I've never seen a diamond in the flesh. I cut my teeth on wedding rings in the movies. Royals is kind of a hard one to talk about because while it's one of the biggest Kiwi songs of all time, it doesn't feel like it made much of an impact here in New Zealand. Yes, it was huge overseas, and a lot of people know New Zealand exists because of it, and that's nice. But for us here in New Zealand, it wasn't one of the biggest songs. Despite this, the underlying message has a lot to do with the Kiwi experience. See, Royals is kind of this brilliant piece of deconstructionism. It's talking about all the cool shit you see in movies, fast cars, trashing hotel rooms, owning a tiger, and how the common folk won't really ever experience that. This is kind of a common New Zealand experience, because we see all this stuff in American movies, big elaborate shopping centres, theme parks, all this stuff that isn't as common here in New Zealand. And yet, despite being a Kiwi, having a huge song and having it be about something Kiwis can connect with, Royals just did not connect here in New Zealand. And I have a theory on why that is. You see, as part of it deconstructing American media and American pop music, it kinda sounds like an American-made song. As opposed to every other piece of music I've talked about today. It's missing that flavor, that feeling you get when you hear it that makes you go, yeah, this is a Kiwi piece of music. It definitely 100% is a Kiwi piece of music. And yet, it just doesn't feel like it. Something I think is worth mentioning as I wrap this up here is these weren't just songs from New Zealanders, they were songs created to appeal to New Zealanders as well. Some artists did this by writing specifically about New Zealand or a Kiwi experience, and some just kinda got lucky and their songs were huge hits. Music is art, and sometimes when art is created for the specific purpose to appeal to a specific demographic, it just kinda comes across as pandering. However, when you get a song that truly does feel special, feels like it was made just for you, despite the fact it was made for your whole country, then it can be a really great piece of media. Sometimes songs just hit all the right notes, feel exactly right that they connect with you, and maybe your whole country. And when that happens, you get some music that is truly uniquely New Zealand. We don't know.